Welcome to Selco TV. This is Rachel Gray, Information Services Librarian, and today I'm going to be talking about searching in Enterprise, which is our brand new online catalog. Enterprise is going to be going live for the region on April 1st, 2014, and today I'm going to cover uh, facets, fuzzy searching, and how to get between libraries using Enterprise. So this is the Selco's default profile. This profile will search every one of our libraries throughout the region, all the member libraries. But you can see down here if I would choose to, I can go to a specific library and search their collection. But from here, I am just going to go ahead and do a search for Robin Hood. I chose Robin Hood because there's a lot of different kinds of items that are available and associated with Robin Hood. And you can see here um, I have 412 results and they include books and you can see that by this icon. Sheet music, a DVD, a couple of those here. And this is a CD. So you can always see what kind of format an item is just by glancing at the item record in the results screen. And if you need help figuring out what that means, you can just hover over it to get what it is. I specifically want to watch a movie, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, with Kevin Costner from the 90s. So to do that, I'm over here in the limit resu search results and in the format facet. And I'm going to select all of the kinds of formats that might be used for movies, depending upon how they are cataloged or just the different kinds of formats. So I have DVDs, VHS, Blu-ray, and visual materials. I know some of the movies, um, when they were initially cataloged, were called um, or cataloged as visual materials instead of a VHS or a movie. So that's why I did that. And you can see now I've got 83 results, so quite a few less, but not Prince of Thieves. So I'm going to go up again to my facets and use the author facet. And you can do more, which will expand it slightly. It won't always give you every single option, um, but just a reasonable number. Otherwise, you can hit expand all to get all of those um, items that are associated with that facet open. So you can see there's quite a few of them here. But Kevin Costner stars in Prince of Thieves, so that's who I want to pick as my author. So here we go with that. And we have four results. We have two DVDs a VH and two v VHSs, so just different records. And I'm interested in this first one. I have a DVD player at home and a two disc special edition sounds kind of fun. And I can see what libraries have this in their collection. If I need to, um, say this was a search for more of a subject heading instead of a specific item, I can go back and forth in the records using these arrow keys on the sides of the um, full results, the detail results. So that is how we search using Enterprise. It is nice and pretty easy, um, and if I wanted to expand any of these, I can just hit the X on one of these limits and go from there. So it's really easy to go back and forth between what you've searched and what you want to search next. Let's go back to the home page. And for showing off um, fuzzy searching, I am going to go into one of our school catalogs. I'm going to pick Chatfield High School and do a search for poop. And as this comes up, you can see that there's actually nothing with the word poop in the top um, highlighted. And you can see the terms that you search for are yellow highlighted in yellow here, and I'm not getting any of those. This is why it's called a fuzzy search. What will happen is if there is items that are similarly spelled, 
It basically helps you spell correctly or find things even if you can't spell correctly um, in the library. And if we pick all of the Chatfield School District and hit search again here, you can see that there are actually some, um, there's the first one here, who stole the animal poop is the first item. So if there is, the, if the term does appear in a record, so even though um, we do have some fuzzy searching results, any record that has the actual term I'm searching for, like poop in this case, will be on top. So it can, is easy to see and easy to find um, the exact terminology that you're using. If I wanted to open this up to all libraries throughout the region, I can do that here as well. And that'll show you here um, more about how poop is always coming to the top here. And I'm sure a couple pages back, we'll start getting some of those fuzzy search results that have changed one of the letters. And the way the setting is working with the, our version of Enterprise is that it will give you three of the letters and then the fourth letter can be kind of like a wild card. So as you could see, there was poop and then roop and pool and poo and all that kind of stuff. So there is um, options there. And just while I'm up here, I do want to show you that your default will automatically go back to the library that you're searching. So if you're doing multiple searches, it will always return back to the library whose profile you're under. And you can do your next search and it will bring you up more results um, from that location. And then of course you can expand it again to all libraries or the school district um, if you're searching a school library catalog. So that's all I have for you about searching today. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the help desk here at Selco. And as always, we look forward to catching you on another episode of Selco TV.